Hey, it's Clayton, and welcome to the first ever episode of Ask Circle of Dust. There are a ton of questions that I'm about to get into, but before I do that, I want to give you two little job details. Go like the official Circle of Dust Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash circle of dust official. Number two, go join the official Circle of Dust email list. You're going to want to do this because a little later on in this episode, I'm going to tell you about something I'm going to give you for free, and you people are going to get it first. So because there are so many questions to answer and so little time, let's jump in. Travis, in its simplest form, Circle of Dust is one of the first musical projects I ever did. And it was the first solo project I ever did. Circle of Dust was three people, me, myself, and I. And the three of us made a whole bunch of albums, and we had no idea what we were doing. It's a little weird that I'm referring to myself as we, right? Yeah, I thought so. So I released a bunch of albums under the name Circle of Dust, because that was my project name. And then I did one side project called Argyle Park, I also now own the rights to that album as well, and that will be re-released in 2016 along with all of my former Circle of Dust albums. So I was really inspired by two things, electronics and metal. And so I didn't see any reason why you couldn't blend those styles. And I was listening to a fair amount of industrial music, and industrial was one of those genres in the 80s that people were not really so interested in what was going on in pop culture they were creating their own sound, and that was kind of what influenced me. Sounds from found objects and movies and guitar riffs and big fat synths and a lot of noise, just a lot of energy and a lot of aggression, and that is what appealed to me. I had played in metal bands for so long, I was over it, done with just guitar, bass, and drums, I needed something more, and finally discovered a sound that I could make entirely myself without having to rely on anybody else. The unfortunate thing is there was no YouTube. There really wasn't even an internet to speak of. So I didn't have any tutorials and there was really nobody to show me how to produce. What, what is internet Allison? anyway? So Allison, can you explain what internet is? Interactive appetite, searching for a website, a window to the world, got to get online. Take a spin, now you're in with a techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. So my early albums, the ones that I will be releasing this year, really were almost practice for what Cell Dweller would become. So really me not having a clue how to really properly produce uh, is what really laid the foundation for me to make a lot of mistakes, but through those mistakes, learn what to do and what not to do, and that would eventually shape what Cell Dweller would become. By the time I was doing Cell Dweller, I had a much better idea of what worked and what didn't work because I had made a bunch of records, a circle of dust, that didn't sound great in my opinion, but they were a lot better than they could have been based on the amount of technology that I had. Since I'm having a hard enough time reconciling the idea of touring as Cell Dweller, there's pretty much no chance that I will ever be touring as Circle of Dust. I don't really want to relive the dream that far. Uh, as far as musicians are concerned, um, Circle of Dust is very similar to Cell Dweller. It's just me. In the studio, it's just me. The songwriting, just me. So Circle of Dust is the same, the same way. Uh, I had a live band for when I played live, but other than that, it's just me. So Circle of Dust is just me. Way to throw this question in at the last second, Neil, because I just caught this before we went into filming, and it's a really great question. So I'm going to be releasing all of the albums this year, and they will be probably a few months apart. Um, we're working on the actual rollout plan, but in a nutshell, every few months, you're gonna get not only a new, newly remastered re-release of one of my old albums, which would be the Circle of Dust self-titled, Brainchild, Metamorphosis, including the Living Sacrifice remixes because they are being really cool about that. Um, there's Argyle Park and Disengage. Those are all coming next year. Along with all of that, there is a ton of demos, unreleased songs, and things that I thought I would never ever show anybody especially you guys, but 
gauging all of the interest that I've seen on the page once I mentioned that I own Circle of Dust again. You guys have blown me away that there's still this many people interested in this music. Um, that and the team around me being like James Rhodes, Brett, Josh, these people convincing me that, yeah, just let it go. This is cool, people will dig this. Now, on top of that, here's a plan I did not have, but it kind of just formed itself and now it's too late. I will be releasing brand new, from scratch, Circle of Dust material, 2016. It kind of happened by accident, but I started getting excited about the idea of rethinking production and how I would do it now, because I didn't have the technology back then. How would I produce it back then if I had the technology and the know-how that I do right now? And so I started working on some demos. I'm already 10 songs in, no, I'm already 11 songs in towards a new Circle of Dust album. Two songs completely done in the can. One song you guys are getting next month for free. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go even further. The song is called Machines of Our Disgrace. This is the first song I've produced as Circle of Dust in over 20 years. And not only is it coming to you next month and coming to you for free, but I want to play a little clip of it right here, right now. Go join the Circle of Dust mailing list because you will be the first person to get your hands on this. And if you want the free version of this track, which will be out in February, you need to join the mailing list regardless. So go do it now, get it out of the way, and the track is yours. So with no further ado, here's a little clip of Machines of Our Disgrace. Circle of Dust 2016. Paralyzing elixir of contempt Overriding Sobriety's attempt A narcissism we so eagerly embrace Smile as we assemble the machines of our disgrace The people surrender their liberties and do away their human dignity What's up Clayton? My name is Milan. I'm from Serbia. I uh, just want to say real quick that I've been a long time fan of yours since I first discovered you in Need for Speed Most Wanted uh, 2005. Uh, what prompted you to buy the rights of Circle of Dust now? Why not sooner? Uh, was there something or someone in your way preventing you? Or did you simply not want it to look back in the past until now? I'm really glad you asked this question because I've wanted to answer it for a long time and this is the best place to do it. I didn't just decide to buy the Circle of Dust Masters back now. I've been trying to do this for probably close to a decade. Hit a lot of closed doors, uh, a lot of ridiculous requests as far as if I wanted my Masters back, I had to cut a check for this ridiculous amount of money. And it's hard for me to believe that I ever owed anybody that much money to make albums that really nobody ever heard. This is part of the whole corruption of the record industry and I'm, I'm just glad I'm not a part of that anymore and now I'm doing all of that on my own terms. Um, so what ended up happening is through a series of events we came back around to this idea again and uh, it turns out that we just were at the right place at the right time talking to the right person and presented the right case to them and they, I don't know if it was mercy or pity or they just wanted a few bucks or whatever they wanted but they agreed to settle for a lot less money than they were originally asking for and allowed me to buy the rights back completely. So I've been trying to do this for a long time and really the difference between then and now is if I had bought them 10 years ago, I probably would have sat on them, buried them and made sure that nobody ever heard them. Since the reaction has been so great and so many of you are asking questions and there's so much activity on the Circle of Dust page itself, I, I knew that this music is uh, meaningful to people and I wanted to give those people, and maybe some people who have never heard it before, the chance to have it in newly remastered glory and a bunch of new stuff. Thank you for watching the very first episode ever of Ask Circle of Dust. Now, ordinarily I would say like this page, and do all this other stuff. I'm still gonna say that, but I wanna clarify something. I'm not creating a Circle of Dust YouTube channel, not creating a Circle of Dust Twitter account and a bunch of other social media platforms. It's mainly Facebook, circleofdust.net, you should join the mailing list there because you're going to be the first then to get any kind of news, probably even before Facebook, 
Like or share this video. Spread the word that Circle of Dust is back and active because I can't do it myself. Really, I can only do it with your help. So please feel free to send people to facebook.com slash Circle of Dust Official. Have them like the page and get involved, get active. I do plan on doing more Ask Circle of Dust in the future, but the next few will be Ask Cell Dweller as usual. So if you wanna ask a Cell Dweller related question, as always, ask them in the comments below. Hashtag Ask Cell Dweller in your social media platform of choice, or hit this fancy link in the moon and submit a video question and get your pretty face on my channel. Until next time, this is Clayton, AKA Cell Dweller, Circle of Dust, Argyle Park, and a bunch of other stuff, signing off.